Tuesday night, Donovan Trumbull held a triangular with Giltner and Hartland. Donovan Trumbull took the first match two sets to none over Hartland, winning 25-21 and 25-15. The second match, Hartland won over Giltner in two sets, 25-18 and 25-23. That set up the final match between 15-5 Donovan Trumbull and 14-4 Giltner. Donovan Trumbull took the match two sets to none, winning 25-15 and 25-7. Coach Gina Fitch said the wins were a big confidence booster. This was a huge night for us, confidence-wise, and to win like that, thats I told the girls we needed to come out and just kind of dominate a set, and they, they were able to do that, and especially on our home court. Our last game here was fun. Fitch said facing two tough teams and winning both matches 2-0 to zero, will help them going forward, and that playing Giltner is always a huge test mentally. Giltner, and that's a huge game for us mentally, too. They're kind of one of those mental rivals for us, Giltner. So this was a great game for us to get, get ourselves kind of back on track. We've been kind of down, and with Lauren kind of out of it, and we tried a new uh, new lineup that it worked well, but, you know, just not having her on the court. Lauren Heinrichs led the team with 23 kills and one block on the night. Heinrichs is almost fully recovered from a sprained ankle that kept her out a few matches this year. Good. It's a little sore, but she's playing fine on it. I think she's back, and she's just, you know, dealing with it, making sure we're icing it after every practice, every game. And, and you know, they we, we needed this big win after last week, you know, we played Carney Catholic and Ord, and they're just, they're two of the best teams in the whole state. So um, being able to come out tonight like this, I think, is given us is going to get us back on that roll for the rest of our season. McKinnon Nemeth added 18 kills of her own in the two matches. She was on fire tonight. That's when we got Cheney in the back row. I mean, even with um, in Heartland with Eve in the back row. Get, you know, we I don't I'm not scared when Lauren goes to the back row at all because McKenna is doing a phenomenal job of taking care of business when she's that front row hitter. The Cardinals will now move on to play St. Paul on Thursday and then have a rematch with Centura in the Lou Platt Conference tournament next week. Play them at the Adam Central tournament, and we played well against them, and that was with kind of our alternate lineup. So I'm excited to get another shot at them. Reporting in Donovan, I'm Zach Mayhew.